Okay, hey guys, um, it's Demonton23 here again, and, um, I'm here to do another tutorial. Uh, this isn't really, uh, how to assemble a costume, but it's more of how to style a wig. And what I'm going to be doing here is, um, I'm going to be styling my pink ponytail that I got from Art of Wigs, really high quality wig. And I'm going to be curling it using my hair straightener. And this is a heat resistant wig, so just letting you guys know before you guys freak out. Um, hair curlers, and don't worry guys, the sink is dry, I'm not going to electrocute myself or whatever. Um, some detangling solution, and a little bit of hairspray. I really like Ion because it smells really nice. <laughs> um, of course, you're going to need a hairbrush. It really, it doesn't matter what kind of brush you use. It doesn't necessarily have to be a wig brush as long as it's like one of these hardback, like, these hardback uh, brushes instead of like those, the uh, squishy ones. Um, a really fine tooth comb. And, um, I actually detangled a friend's wig. And this is actually my fourth comb. And, like I mentioned, the, uh, my friend's wig, it, it kind of, uh, ate some of the teeth off. And, I just dropped it. <laughs> and lastly, you are going to need some kind of a gel or styling product. Uh, I like using um, fiber gum putty because it's really pliable. It doesn't have that flaky, cakey kind of feeling. And um, if need be, if there are tangles in your wig, you may need a pair of hair cutting scissors. Now, I actually got these at Target for like $2.99, so it's Buying these is actually really worth it instead of using like sewing scissors or craft scissors or whatever. So yeah, invest in these because these, you can't really see it, but these are uh, micro serrated. So it cuts hair much easier. And remember, if you are going to use scissors, like any kind of scissors, make sure you have like many pairs of like different scissors for different purposes. Because you don't want to use like a sewing scissor with hair styling scissors. So yeah, um, as you guys can see, I already, the wig is pretty straight as is, and just a little close up there. Um, you really want to just brush out the wig, here, let's put on the stand there, and sorry if you can't really see my face in this, but it, this is still kind of a push up thing. So really you just want to like brush out your wig as much as you can, just get all the like the little tangles out. And um, my uh, spray solution here. It's uh, something my uh, my grandma actually taught me. Uh, this is actually um, one part fabric softener, two parts water, and one part uh, leave-in conditioner, just for your regular hair. So it works really well, but try not to use too much of it because otherwise it will get um, this kind of greasy film over it, and you really really don't want that. Otherwise, your hair, your uh, or wig actually is going to get feel really greasy. It's not going to look right. And just overall, it's going to look gross. It's just really going to look gross. Well, you guys can't really tell, but it is starting to fluff up a little bit. And which is totally fine. You're going to spray it with the solution anyways. Um, I actually like to go with a, a broad comb first, and then just my fine tooth comb. And just brush it through to make sure there aren't little, like, little tangles in it. And you really want to actually saturate your uh, wig really well, like to the point where it's like, you can like see how it is, if it's saturated and you can tell, you can tell that's not saturated, but you can with this, just from like the look and the feel of it. So, okay. So really, I like to comb it through, especially on the, the very ends of the uh, wig, because they take a, it actually takes the most damage from the heat, so... And so actually, like, the scary, um, breaking kind of sound, it's from the teeth going into the, um, wig head, actually. And I know my wig and my ponytail don't match. It's, this is just to show what it's like, because otherwise, if I use my, uh, pink wig, then it won't show up as well. And I think brushing 
takes the longest process just so it's like prepped and that uh, it won't get gross or you know you won't get snagged or anything. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually split my um, wig into thirds. Or if you're like really OCD about curling wigs and stuff, you can go like fourths even. So I'm just gonna break off one section and it's a little difficult considering it's a white wig and uh, the last time I tried this it actually clung to the wig like the curlers and everything, they actually clung to the main wig so that was a little bit of a pain in the ass and uh, like you guys know in a lot of my videos I do swear so if you guys feel uncomfortable about that I'm sorry but this is how I am Okay. So what you want to do is take your curlers I have here. These are about maybe like an inch to an inch and a quarter in diameter. But if you have smaller curlers than sponge curlers, you can use that too. And just with this small section here, I'm probably going to go in like maybe three or four. But there's a section of the wig here that's super short. This section right here compared to everything else you can Somewhat tell. I can't really. I don't really know if the camera can pick that up. It is much shorter, so I'm gonna work on it first. And you really, really need to pay really close attention of how your uh, wig, like with the fibers and everything, are placed. Otherwise, you'll get what time like this curtain kind of thing going on, and you really don't want that. So just a little extra combing. And um, my hair my hair straightener is just a regular con air. It's set on about six, between six and seven, so it doesn't get too hot. So just run it through really quickly. And when you touch it, it is hot, so care, you want to be careful. And really, I like to curl under and then pin it. And I usually tend to pin it at the root so that way it doesn't curl over. Um, okay guys, so, uh, it wasn't 15 minutes, it was actually about two hours, and, uh, I frequently had to spray and blow dry the thing, but it was worth it, and it's time to unravel the mess. Now, what I usually do is just go down to up, kind of like the same way you would brush a wig, and I really need to get me a tripod. <laughs> And what I usually like to do is just pull it to the side and then unravel it. And you can see we have a fairly nice curl. It could have been curled a little longer, but hey, this is just a quick tutorial and I'm lazy as hell. So, oh dear. Technical difficulty, folks. This is what happens when you try to put a camera on a tower of hair curlers because <laughs> I don't have a tripod. 
See, this one came out a little bit better. I think it was just because I used um, smaller um, curlers. Alright, and there you go. We have a newly curled ponytail wig. Looks pretty nice, and we're actually going to keep continuing selling this. I know you're going to think, like, wait a second, it looks pretty good so far. Why is that? Why are you going to keep, what are you going to keep doing? Well, you guys can see it looks like it's already in sections as is, and it doesn't really look natural. So what I'm going to do is just ruffle it up a little bit. Just a little bit so that, you know, it looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more stylish. And what I'm going to do is take um, this fiber gun. And you guys can see from the texture, it is really, really stringy. So uh, for this stuff, a little bit goes a very long way. So really, you just need about this much. You can't really see it because it's semi-transparent. But just enough to cover through your fingers. Rub it in your hands. And just... Toss it really, just. and sometimes you're gonna have to curl the curls again. But hey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> and I'm just gonna scrunch it up. And I know it looks a little messy now, but it's worth it. And it's a lot easier to detangle when you use um, the fiber gum because it is very pliable. It's really easy to wash out of. And it doesn't have that flaky kind of hole that some hairsprays have, like when they say like extra hold or mega hold or whatever. But I'm just going to give it a quick spray with some hairspray and blast it with a little bit of heat. Alright, and there you go. You have a newly curled from straight to curly and a ponytail. I know it has a really big contrast with the uh the silverish grey kind of wave, but hey, this works, doesn't it, right? It's a lot of contrast. So Oh, my hands are a little sticky. You guys can kind of tell. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. And the next tutorial, I promise you guys, will be done tomorrow morning. That is, if I wake up in the morning. <laughs> but uh, it will be a tutorial on how to do imitation black lens makeup. So I'll see you guys then. Have a great night. I need to get some sleep. Okay, so now that's done, uh, you really want to actually let this sit for just a little bit longer. Really, I would say overnight, but I will start recording again in about 15 or so minutes and give you guys results. So, until then, see you guys.